Hey, what's up guys? It's Joseph and Ray here again. Um, today we once again stole Jacob's set. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to be doing a quick overview of Precision X1. It's the full re-encoded update to Precision XOC. Very different, but pretty cool. Yeah, it's got a brand new code base, so um, everything is new, including the actual internals of the system and how it works. So, um, you've actually played around a little bit more with it than I have. Yeah. Um, but the whole layout's going to be a different uh, thing, as you can see here. Yeah. You've got the main page here. Um, if I hover over the memory, you'll see that our little diagram on the bottom there, uh, the memory modules, which are oriented around the GPU, those light up. If I go to the GPU tab there, you see that the GPU kind of goes purple. That shows you that's what that's doing. And then power target, those are sort of a simulation of your VRMs toward the front of the card. Um, and this is where you adjust it as you would on any um, version of Precision X. You get your offset slider here. You can drag it up or down. What it shows you here is not what you've set it to. It's actually what it's currently running at. But if I were to set it to, say, 128 here and hit apply, then you would see um, it not change. Because in this case, it didn't change. But that's okay. It would change if it's under load. So this one's not under load because the card's idling. That is fine. Let me go back to default. And just so that you guys know what we're running this on, I'm going to hop over to the card here. We have an RTX 2080 Ti. This one, I think, is an XC Ultra. And uh, that's our subject for today on the um, Precision X1 overview. Uh, so this is the main page that you'll see. This is your card adjustment, fan adjustment. Fan speeds are listed as well. Um, there are some arrows here, so you can go to different interface parts. So temp tuner, uh, fan control. This is where you create your custom fan curves and enable automatic fan control. You do that. You'll see because of that one, our fans start to spin on the graphics card. And uh, we'll just set default on that, and actually we'll turn that up. There it goes. What we have right now is the VF Curve Tuner, basically OC scanner. It goes through, it can test the card. Um, it'll scan if you press the scan button here. Uh, it'll actually scan the card and, and find out what the highest frequency was on this card. Um, it took about, I'd say, 20 minutes or so to actually run through that test, but it gave us a pretty decent result. Um, if you want to manually do it, um, put in your own uh, speeds, you can do that, hit apply, and then go to test. So you can test speeds that you are trying to do manually, so you don't have to do the automatic scan. Um, Going to the top here, these icons, right now we have three of them. Uh, there would be another one if this was an ICX card, so there'd be an ICX tab. Um, but uh, you'll see there's LED control. Um, if you want LED on your card or not, that would do that. If you want it for two cards, or even if you want to control your SLI bridge, um, you can set all of those. You can change the colors here, red, green, blue. If you want to do more than just red, green, blue, you can click on Advanced. It'll give you a little warning, by the way, you're not going major red, green, blue, you're going to some other colors, so you may get some differing results, but uh, then you can click on here and get all the colors here. And uh, if you want to do something kind of special, these are all your options. Um, if you want to do exact RGB values, you have that option as well. Your full RGB values, so um, you still do have full LED control, which is nice. Um, the last major thing on here um, is hardware monitor. Works like it does in other versions of Precision. We've got one card here, so we've got one option, and we can have more uh, graphs pulled up, as many graphs as you want, or as few graphs as you want. And then, like other versions of Precision, you can choose, do I want it in the OSD? Do I not? Do I want it in my Z10 keyboard? Do I want it in my tray icons? Um, so you still have those options. And actually, you can turn off hardware monitor. Um, which is not something you can do in Precision XOC, at least as far as I'm aware. I don't think you could turn it off. No. Um, so if we turn it off, you'll notice actually all the graphs stop immediately. So that's a nice feature. Um, can help a little bit with performance in certain cases, but uh, for the most part, the uh, hardware monitor is pretty light. Shouldn't cause any issues. Um, here's your toggle for your on-screen display, on and off. And same with the LEDs. This is basically LED sync. Um, so if you want LED sync, you've got a DG7 uh, case, and it's got LEDs, you're trying to synchronize that, or your CLC, you want to have your LED sync turned on, um, or not. That's up to you. 
And as ever, your profiles, instead of being along the bottom as they used to be, they're here on the side, and they work exactly the same way. You can click to select one, right click to save or erase one, um, pretty simple. Standard menu here says setup, it's pretty straightforward, and this will have your general settings, uh, and also if you click on the arrow, you're monitoring in your OSD settings. Um, so that's kind of an overview, uh, give you guys an idea of what uh, Precision X1 is like, uh, as it is a software that will supersede Precision XOC, uh, and we think you guys are actually going to like it, and it's a pretty nice interface, a little bit flatter, a little bit cleaner, uh, I personally like those changes quite a bit. Yeah, now I, I did want to ask, and the load and save at the bottom, what mm -hmm. it, um, is that just to load and save profiles Load as well? and save profiles, yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I like that it's a little more laid out in your face um, instead of kind of just trying to hover over and seeing cool sure. tips like sure. before. Now you can kind of, it's a little more intuitive yeah. this way. Yeah, I think so too. It's a nice interface. And I think you guys will like it. And certainly, you know, sound off in the comments, uh, any recommendations, any things you like or dislike. We, we love getting that feedback. Yeah. All right. All right. Have Thank a good you one. guys. Have a good one. I got it. I need to lean back. <laughs> We're still using this like sudden acceleration. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs>